Hello, I'm Dr. David Mulhook. I am a rural general anaesthetist uh, in Emerald Hospital. Uh, hi, my name's Rachel. I'm one of the provisional fellow SMOs out at Emerald Hospital. I currently work a 0.5 at the hospital doing uh, ED or anaesthetics and a 0.5 at uh, one of our local GP practices as well. As a student, I had exposure to a number of different rural sites across um, South East Queensland and I really enjoyed the medicine that I was dealing with. I really enjoyed that you were, uh, in one second you were in the labour ward delivering a baby, the next you were in theatre doing operative work, then you're in ED dealing with a trauma. I really found that that diversity of work really was quite interesting to me and so I uh, wanted to pursue that for my own career. So it's actually my grandparents and my extended family that live in rural New South Wales that uh, encouraged me or inspired me to become a doctor and especially a rural generalist because uh, I've seen the disparity in their access to um, medical treatment and help um, when they've needed it uh, and so I think back when I started I was like ah, oh, I'll go down there and, and um, fill that gap but now I've come out to Emerald and done that here so it's actually been really rewarding in that regard. One of the perks to working in a uh, rural area for me has been uh, just the incredible exposure that I've had to a number of different uh, conditions and uh, to treatments and procedures um, uh, because you are it. If someone comes in and they're sick um, and there's nobody else on call or around, um, you're the one who has to deal with it. I was at a, a conference recently um, and there were a bunch of senior clinicians talking about uh, things that they've done and experienced. and. I found um, as a relatively junior doctor, I had had a, a very wide breadth of exposure in my three years as a rural generalist in a rural area. It does give you a few premature grey hairs, but it also does grow and develop you as a clinician. And so I've been very fortunate to have um, a very broad exposure in my clinical practice. I came to Emerald as a uh, PHO and I really enjoyed it here. I think the team here is absolutely amazing, really supportive. We're a really close-knit bunch of people, but we're also very welcoming to anyone who is thinking of coming to Emerald. Um, we have a great uh, variety of uh, ASTs here as well, and I think the students really um, learn from that as well, so they can uh, come to the theatre and do some anaesthetic time, or they can be done in ED, obstetrics uh, and mental health as well. So I think Emerald's a great place to come and learn as a student and, um, as I said before, get your hands dirty uh, and experience that rural generalist life. The benefits to working in a regional community um, it does feel great to be working somewhere where you know that you are directly having an impact on the health and well-being of a community, knowing that this is a relatively small town and it uh, punches well above its weight with regards to, um, to exports and agriculture and mining, um, that we are directly um, contributing to um, our economy as a, as a state and as a country by supporting the health of our people in the community. So um, it does feel good to really be contributing in a direct way. Um, and and people are, are generally grateful to, um, to have doctors who are living in town and who are here who are able to provide them great care. Yeah, I really enjoyed Emerald because the community here is great. I feel like they really rally around our, um, the doctors here. Um, the schools and the access to really good cafes here are really great as well. So that's made my time here really enjoyable um, as well as working with a really great team. Emerald as a rural community has got a lot going for it as well. We've got some great cafes and restaurants which I think uh, keep us happy. There's some beautiful botanical gardens, there is uh, the dam nearby in town and we're a stone's throw away from Carnarvon Gorge which is uh, a world-class destination. So if we want to there's lots of things on our doorstep um, but probably one of the biggest perks is just uh, being a smaller town there is a great sense of community here and, um, and we get the chance to be a part of that. I think working rurally has really been satisfying because um, you're really putting those ASTs that we've been trained in to really good use here um, so people don't have to travel away. Uh, you're getting that really great satisfaction from your work as well when you see the job has been completed in the hands of your own team uh, and full circle care. For students wanting to apply uh, to be a rural generalist, I think one of the key things is to be enthusiastic about rural medicine, to have uh, shown a prior interest in uh, into exploring rural areas, engaging with your rural health clubs as well to um, get some exposure to different um, parts across Australia um, can be a really great way to, to see what's, what's done rurally and to really give you a, a chance to, to know what rural medicine is all about. But it's becoming uh, more and more competitive and more popular, um, so I definitely encourage people to uh, get their hands dirty and get that experience.
To become a Rural Generalist, you will need to apply to the Queensland Rural Generalist Pathway. The pathway is five years full-time, consisting of three training periods. Pre-vocational, postgraduate years one to two, advanced skills training, postgraduate year three, and vocational training, postgraduate years four and five. Vocational training completes fellowship with the Australian College of Rural and Remote Medicine and or the Royal Australian College of General Practitioners. The prerequisite entry requirements for specialty training on the Rural Generalist pathway include successful completion of a medical degree from an accredited Australian or New Zealand university and to be in the final year of study at the time of application, hold an intern applicant group status A or B for medical graduates of Australian or New Zealand universities, possess Australian or New Zealand citizenship or permanent residency, have received or be eligible upon graduation for provisional medical registration with the Medical Board of Australia. Applications open in approximately March of each year. However, prospective trainees can express an interest in joining the pathway at any time. Once trainees are ready to enter vocational training, contact your regional training organisation. In Queensland, there are two regional training organisations, James Cook University General Practice Training and General Practice Training Queensland. Uh, Emerald's been really great for me so far in the nine months that I've been here. Uh, it's been a really great supportive, welcoming team. Um, it, the exposure between GP, anaesthetics and ED has been phenomenal. And I would really just encourage anyone who wanted to train regionally um, to especially think about Emerald because it's just, it's a great place to be. I have no regrets um, having chosen to be a rural generalist. Uh, it's a pathway that it is a bit of an adventure. It uh, can uh, keep you on your toes at times. Um, but I think the, uh, the learning that I've had through this experience, uh, the opportunity to give back to our community um, and uh, just the great teamwork environment that I've had, um, it really has made it worthwhile. So I have no regrets uh, choosing to be a rural generalist.